What's going on, everyone? It's Tokim back with another episode of Stop That Mon. As our first episode was extremely well received, so I thought I'd bring it back sooner rather than later for you all. And today we're going to be going over another notorious still type in the format, especially early in the meta in South Stilla. As uh, our first episode was on Cartana, so definitely go check that out if you haven't already. And thank you for watching today's episode. If you do end up enjoying, please do leave a like and maybe even subscribe to the channel for more VGC content. Anyways, let's hop right into South Stilla. This was a Pokemon that a lot of people thought was going to be like the king of VGC or just very very uh, just a very very hard to deal with Pokemon for the entirety of the meta considering the fact that when you look at those stats what do you see you see a 97 HP stat you see a 101 attack stat you see a 103 defense stat you see a 107 special attack stat and then you see a 101 special defense stat obviously cell still is decently slow but it needed something to calm down all those over the top stats as uh, these stats allow cell still to not only uh, maximize on its uh, defensive capabilities especially with that still typing which is an extremely good defensive typing but also maximize on its um, uh, offensive capabilities considering that not only can it be bulky but it can be bulky and pretty offensive at the exact same time which is uh, very very good so uh, cell still is a Pokemon that I see for the entirety of the VGC meta being a presence in the meta so um, even though it has gone down in usage it's still going to be uh, I still think right now it's an extremely good Pokemon and it will still be in the future in my opinion and uh, just but as you can see just look at those stats so we're going to start off with a lot of the um, standard heavy slam substitute lead seed protect cell still sets those were the ones that uh, just overwhelmed the meta at the beginning of the uh, at the beginning of the meta now there's a lot more uh, offensive cell stills or at least cell stills running flamethrower to deal with cartanas as cartanas risen a lot in usage since the beginning of the meta and to just deal with uh, just to be a little bit more offensive and a little less passive even though this set I still think is uh, marvelous um, this one right here though is a pretty speedy Celestilla set. It's running 140 in speed just to um, to be able to uh, outspeed a few things and get a lead seed on them before they can attack. So um, uh, j in case like a uh, Lola Marowak, if you know it's going to attack you, maybe you just want a lead seed for the next Pokemon or something. Uh, or maybe you're predicting that it's not going to hit you but you need to attack first. Um, it just there's a few things that this uh, investment even like a very bulky Layla that's not running much speed investment it'll be able to outspeed that so just a few things this uh, cell still set can outspeed um, I can't remember them all unfortunately because this was very early meta uh, when this uh, I was using this set but um, uh, a fast cell stilla usually definitely wins uh this one guarantees that you are going to be almost well, almost guarantees you never know what some people will do but it almost guarantees that you'll be able to substitute before other cell stillas can lead seed you and then you'll be able to deal with the mirror really well so just a very speedy cell stilla that is still trying to bank as much on its bulk as it can with 116 in hp 84 in defense and then 156 in special defense with that careful nature it's not running any special attacks so you definitely want to uh, lower that uh that special attack stat so not bad at all we move right on to a different way a different EV spread for the exact same uh, move set on cell stilla and the same item and uh, this one's going to be a one that's uh, banking a lot more on its bulk and a lot more on its defensive bulk in particular as this one's going to be 252 in HP 100 in defense and then 140 in special defense with the careful nature also this one's going to obviously take those uh, special attacks a little bit less worse than the first one but still it's just as well no actually not because it has much more uh, uh, EVs invested in HP so it's probably gonna take those a little bit better than the other one even though it has less in special defense and then it has the 100 in defense to take like rock slides from Kukadal and Garchomp and things like that to take those a lot better and uh, especially with um, Arcanine uh, stopping it hasn't opted for flare blitz as much and a lot more Arcanines are running flamethrower considering the fact that Arcanine is a quality support Pokemon and you never really want to be chunking the own health of your own support Pokemon with the recoil moves so a lot of people are opting for flamethrower so this one's able to just take those flamethrowers nicely just like the first one and uh, yeah just a very solid another just spread you could try out for your uh, cell still not much speed at all so you likely will begin lead seed by opposing cell stills before you lead seed damp so that is the downside with this one but it's just so much more bulky so if you just want to bank on more bulk and you think you got the cell still matchup covered already i would suggest this spread 
Then moving right along, we do go into our last and final EV, different EV spread for the common, uh, um, the common proven standard heavy slam leech seed substitute protect cell cell spread uh, set, and this one is going to just be full investment in special defense with that careful nature. This one just wants to take those electric type special moves and those special. Uh, um, fire type moves as well as it possibly can so it's uh, meant to be a defensive monster and just take those um, a Special defensive monster and take those special defensive hits really well So it's 180 48 in HP so which is solid and 68 in defense So still pretty solid uh, physical bulk too, but then 36 and a uh, speed and I do think 36 is a solid benchmarker if you do want to um, um, outspeed other cell stills. I do think 36 is a solid uh, amount of EVs to invest in your cell still. If you don't want to go over the overboard with EVs and speed, but you want to uh, more than likely outspeed other cell stills, I would suggest 36. Moving along, though, we do have our first non very standard cell still as we get to the flamethrower flash cannon one this one's running 108 in special attack so it wants to bank on uh cell still is very quality uh special attack stat and just try to deal with the mirror better deal with the fairy types uh without losing its um power and it's a uh, still type move with intimidate as a uh, arcanine crocodile salamance lots of things with intimidate especially that don't mind switching in on cell stilla in arcanine and salamance so this one uh just stops for flash cannon so it's a uh, physical attack getting lower doesn't matter at all but still goes with lead seed and protect just to make sure that um in certain scenarios where they count flamethrower or flash cannon where it just doesn't seem like the right move to go for you can still lead seed things up and still be an annoyance and uh yeah then just 252 and hp still very bulky and 116 with a careful nature and special defense so still very bulky cell still and not much invest in defense but still very bulky but meant to just uh take on to be more of an offensive threat but to also just not have its uh, attack lowered so uh, going special and then last but not least we have the cell still set that i offered as a counter to cartana this is uh, also uh, another cell still spread that you should be on the lookout for as this mix uh, spread is still very good in my opinion as um heavy slime life orb will oko even most of bulky leleis uh makes most unless it's some certain amount of physical bulk leleis running that's going to be a guaranteed oko on almost all leleis and then you uh you're going full in uh, investment in your special attack. That is meant so that you can Oko um, Gastrodon. Don't know why I couldn't think of that. It's meant to Oko Gastrodon and also to just get maximum damage off on things such as uh, other cell stills and then also uh, Kartana. You want to just 100% guarantee the Oko on a Soul Vest Kartana and this uh, definitely does that for you. Then 240 in special defense. Since you're not running a special defense boosting nature, excuse me. Um, it's best to um, invest as much as you can in special defense because more than likely electric types um, You will see those electric types you can kind of play around the fire types with other Pokemon on your team better But I do feel like electric types usually end up somehow in the face of cell still so just uh, so that you can um, easily take on not easily but take those uh Electric type attacks a lot better than a normal cell still would with a 240 in your special defense um, and yeah, just mix so you're going with a quiet nature to just lower speed You're just going to be as slow as possible and this cell still works best in trick room as um, Yeah, you're going as slow as possible cell still considering you don't want to lower your special attack or your attack on that one So not bad at all. Well, let's just move right on to the counters now for cell still as we start with uh Sorry, I was just checking OBS, making everything was fine, making sure everything was fine because I'm having a lot of trouble with my face cam right now. But uh, it's working fine. So, anyways, though, we do go into our Celestilla counters now, and a very, very notorious and quality counter to Celestilla. And my number one, as I am, uh, just like last time with Cartana, these are in order, in my opinion, of how well they take care of Celestilla. And uh, uh, first is going to be Magnezone. And the reason why I put Magnezone first is 100% because of this ability it gets that no other po viable Pokemon in the 2017 VGC format gets in Magnet Pool, which prevents still types foes from uh, switching out. So Cell still can't switch out when you have that Magnezone on the field. Obviously, you can try to protect, but you can predict, protect, and, and deal with even if they have something that's threatening your Magnezone out that isn't Cell still. You can try to predict, play around that, and then you still uh, keep that Cell still in, and then you get a powerful Thunder or at least a volt switch off on cell stilla and we can go over to the damage calc and you can see that uh with the modest nature the exact set we're running right here modest nature 252 in uh special attack 
with that you won't pick up the Oko on Celestilla as it um it's a guaranteed two hit KO it only does around 65.6 .6 to 7 uh 79.4 on like a 140 with the careful nature Celestilla do feel like that's like a decent standard well that's with 252 on HP so you may not have that uh bulky of a Celestilla that you're de dealing with but as long as it's the standard Celestilla that's just the um HP, I mean the Heavy Slam, Leech Seed, Substitute one, you're going to still get extremely good damage off on it. Extremely, extremely good damage, and then it's not going to be able to do much of anything back to you. And then, if it is a special one, you won't you won't take a Flamethrower like per the best, but unless it's that Life Orb one, it's not going to Oko you with Flamethrower, so you will still be able to get another powerful uh, electric type attack off on Celestella. And then obviously, this is a far from the only way to run uh your your magnezone give me one second i just uh i have it on my phone some of the other magnezone sets that have been successful and like wolfie glicks uh magnezone set that he ran um in internationals uh he already ran that to great success with his uh he was a more a much more bulky one though with like uh 252 in hp and then just 44 in defense and 44 in special defense uh that was his option to for uh for having a better all-around matchup with your magnezone instead of just focusing on cell still so you can also try that and it'll still do uh, good damage to cell still still probably a 2e ko but then cell still still won't be able to switch out so you'll get solid damage off on cell still so that's an option then you can also off obviously you can go with choice specs and you can go with Gavin's one which was 248 and HP uh, 252 and special attack and then just eight and special defense and uh, yeah and a modest nature um, his is running like hidden power ground so let's add hidden power ground in power ground uh, let's just put ground in hidden power ground there we are so yeah you can also opt for this one obviously with a choice specs there's no way you're not going to um oko Celestilla. so we can even put it in just to give you an idea yeah no matter what that's going to be a well on on this extremely bulky uh Celestilla set it barely gets the guaranteed oko just barely hits that but uh this is an extremely bulky one not the typical cell still that you will have to deal with but still it's good to just see um exactly how much damage you can do to um uh, a cell even a very bulky cell cell set and then you can also try out life orb which is a magnezone set that i didn't think was that bad and uh, this only has a 12.5% chance to Oko, but like I said, this is a very unnaturally bulky Celestilla. Like, if it's not running that much bulk, as I, I'll just take away the HP bulk for right now, you get the guaranteed Oko on one that's still running this 140, but then, uh, but then isn't running 252 in HP. So even Life Orb is an option for those of you who do... Uh, who uh, don't want to be locked into your move as Magnezone can. It can't Volt Switch off of uh, ground types and stuff. So you do have to play very smart with the uh, Choice Specs uh, Magnezone, especially just as you're not able to protect yourself at all too. So Choice Specs Magnezone is really good on Trick Room in my opinion so that you are uh, slower than a lot of things that thread Magnezone. So that's why Gavin ran it with a uh, very hard Trick Room team. But uh, to great success as he did win the San Jose Regionals. But uh, yeah, Life Orb, just uh, lots of damage. And uh, yeah, Magnezone with Magnet Pool. It's just easily, it's easily the best Celestilla killer. So just a Pokemon to consider if you're having trouble on your team with Celestilla. Maybe just slap on a Magnezone and see how it deals with it after that. Next, we do have one of the most common Pokemon in the VGC 17 uh, format in Tapu Koko. And Life Orb, Tapu Koko, and Electric Terrain. It usually does a plethora of, yes, that is a guaranteed Oko on this without its special defense investment. Now it's a 75% chance to Oko if it's a very bulky cell still like this one we see right here. So um, the roll is still heavily in your favor of you to Oko cell still. And then obviously with your electric typing, um, Heavy Slam is neutral on you. So cell still almost never is able to Oko. Um, able to Oko Tapu Koko until people start running the single set of uh, Assault Vest Earthquake Celestilla. Um, Tapu Koko and Magnezone will continue to be solid answers for dealing with Celestilla. Obviously Celestilla can have maybe Lightning Rod or something next to it. That's a whole nother thing you'll have to deal with and that's why we have more than just electric types here as counters. But I do still think that if used correctly, if you deal with the other threats really well, um, Tapu Koko is easily one of the best options for you dealing with uh, Celestilla in my opinion. And uh, yeah, it's just a standard, very standard set of just the 252 in, H in uh, special attack and speed. Want Tapu Koko to bank heavily on its speed stat as it's um, 
very 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 uh quality speed stat allows it to just be to get off damage before a lot of things and then yeah uh 252 and uh special attack to hit as hard as possible then moving right along though we have what i think is the best arcanine set for dealing with um Celestilla, obviously, um, this isn't the typical Arcanine set that you see, and that is the reason why Arcanine was not number one, because the typical and most effective for the entire meta Arcanine set, in my opinion, is the one that runs Flamethrower instead of Flare Blitz, as I do feel like um, Arcanine is best to support rather than a, a really offensive Pokemon. You want to switch it in with Intimidate as much as possible, you want it to Snarl things as much as possible, you want it to will o -Wisp things as much as possible, and you want it to Roar out Trick Room Setters as much as possible, and I think that's what it's best at doing is supporting its team rather than trying to go really heavily on the offensive but it's still a quality offensive pokemon especially because with a 95 speed set that's faster than a lot of the pokemon we currently have through to our disposal so yeah it can hit um water types extremely hard and unexpectedly and then it can also uh, uh obviously with a uh, flare blitz that's going to a hundred percent that's going to 100 percent oko um most solid still is let's just make sure on that Arcanine physical set. Uh, we won't be citrus, but all right. This extremely bulky, really, really. Yeah, we're 252 adamant. Yeah, just like this one. This extremely, extremely bulky cell still set that we have right here. It is a 31.1 percent chance to Oko, but if you take that away, guaranteed Oko, and it's just going to get so much damage off on cell still either way to where cell still can't really um, do its usual uh, substituting and all that. And then you still do have snarl to your disposal so that you can still be an annoyance with that then extreme speed to pick off a really weakened thing so i do think this uh arcanine set isn't bad in the slightest but i just prefer arcanine is more support pokemon than offensive but it still is one of the best answers to dealing with cell still so if you're having a lot of trouble with cell still but you already have your electric type or you don't want to add an, an electric type to your team arcanine is definitely a pokemon to consider especially because intimidate lowers cell still is um heavy slam too so that'll do less damage and then so so other than leech seeding arcanine really does have an option for it so uh yeah arcanine's uh, easily one of the best south style killers moving right along though we do get to our next fire type and that is going to be alola marowak and the reason why i like alola marowak so much as a south style killer is because of the fact that it also runs flare blitz and i think it runs uh well obviously alola marowak's meant to be a very uh offensive pokemon it's really good at supporting too with lightning rod but it's mainly meant to be an offensive pokemon and uh it can uh support your own cell still really well with that lightning rod and then you can um um and then you can just uh uh go for your flare blitz on your opponent's cell still take them out and uh now you're dealing with cell still a lot better than you were before still think uh alone marowak is a very solid pokemon in the format as uh just has a uh, solid coverage bone amarang gets past the uh the focus sash tapu cocos and stuff like that and it just hits hard for a ground type attack in a meta where we don't have many good ground type um attacks that aren't on actual ground type pokemon so that's really good and you get a very strong ghost type move in um shadow bone and it's a physical ghost type move which is definitely not something that's common so that's a very solid move especially for dealing with those tapu leles if it doesn't uh use it's a very strong uh psychic type move in psychic terrain on you first but then uh yeah just flare blitz to deal with uh cell still are really really well let's see how much this one does We'll go to comment, or actually, we will go to Marowak. We'll go to Tills Marowak, and his isn't running exactly what I'm looking for. We'll go 100, and yes, that will be a guaranteed Oko, even on this extremely bulky cell still set. So that just shows you the power of Aloma Marowak. Extremely powerful with its uh, 80 attack stat, and just, uh, yeah, coming off of those... Uh, coming off a stab just really really good so uh definitely another pokemon fire type to consider don't have a fire type on your team or not sure what fire type to throw on your team if you're having trouble with cell stilla and you do have a uh, some weak uh po some pokemon that are weak to electric type moves you can throw on a little marowak lightning rod to help support the team and then uh, very powerful fire type moves to deal with cell stilla and it's usually faster than cell stilla too especially this set 84 in speed you're definitely going to be it's meant to uh usually win the mirror and get your shadow bone off off on other uh, Marowak before they can get a shadow bone off on your Marowak but yeah just uh, meant to do a lot a lot of damage to uh, Celestella. Moving right along now we do have my fifth 
favorite Pokemon to deal with Celestilla, and it is going to be Gudra. And I did say in the last uh, Stop That Mon how Gudra is fine in usage, but it still definitely is a quality Pokemon. As that 150 in special defense, there's so many special attackers that Gudra is still a quality Pokemon, and then they're mostly fairy types too. And Gudra does get access to Sludge Bomb, so you can always consider that over Power Whip and not running Mix or anything like that. You can always consider adding Sludge Bomb anywhere on this moveset. I just personally like this Gujar set a lot, as uh, especially because Gastrodon was really huge when I made it. So Gastrodon has fallen back down a decent amount. So maybe maybe you will want to opt for that Sludge Bomb. Just uh, definitely just a move to consider. But um, the reason I like this one so much is because of its ability. Just like how Magnezone had a really good ability for taking on Celestilla, I do think Gash uh, Gash Gujra has a really good. Uh, ability for taking on Celestilla, especially if it's the standard Celestilla, and that is uh, when this Pokemon is at is attacked by a Grass type move, it raises its um, attack stat by a stage. So this one actually uh, will be benefiting off of the fact that its attack gets ro rose by a stage, because usually Gudra doesn't, because its special attack is much better. Well, not much better, but it's better than its attack by 10. So mo most people just go for a spread that's just uh, special attacks. So you don't actually really like benefit stat wise from the Sap Sipper, but this one actually will because we're running power whip and then um obviously even if it is the special cell still if it is running energy ball you can maybe bring it in on your gastrodon slot um and uh you'll take in that sap sipper also uh raise your health and then you do have a powerful flamethrower coming off of a 120 uh, a 110 special attack stat that is 132 uh Eevee's invested with a quiet nature, so that's going to make it even more powerful. And then just 252 on HP, 108 in attack. You want to still hit things hard with Power Whip even before the Sap Sipper goes off. And then uh, 252 to maximize on your bulk. And then we have an Assault Vest, so that's why we don't go much investment in Special Defense. Um, especially considering it's already 152, so you're going to take a lot of attacks well already. And then last but not least, we have Talonflame. And the reason I like Talonflame so much as a Cell still oh, that is wrong, should be Goings. Sorry about that. But the reason I like Talonflame so much as a Cell Stella killer, killer is because it has a, a few options as to how it can go about dealing with Cell Stella. So if you do think it's going to be the Heavy Slam, Lead Seed, blah, blah, blah set, you can just taunt it right away if you don't want to just attack it right away. You want to deal with it uh, slower and uh, you want to save your Fire MZ maybe for another time where you want to save your uh, minusing your attack by two with Overheat. It's Talonflame doesn't have the strongest special attack stat, so Overheat is going to be likely a two hit KO. Uh, well, actually, like a three hit KO once you lose, once you go to minus two. So, Overheat is the best option. You will usually have to go Fire MZ Overheat to uh, deal with uh, Cell Stella really well, but it does still get taunt. So not only can you can taunt a P2 that's trying to set up Trick Room for Cell Stella, you can taunt Cell Stella and just have it sit there and not be as effective if it is the standard set and not the offensive one. And then you can also Willow with Cell Stella just to um, nuke it as an offensive threat a little bit more. And then Tailwind obviously is just such a strong move and uh, Talonflame is so good at getting up Tailwind thanks to Gale Wing. um, Gale Wings allowing it to have the priority and uh, the priority into its uh, flying type moves so uh, you usually will be able to almost always get Talonflame up with Talonflame so um, I like Talonflame a lot as a cell still a killer and uh, yeah just go for that Fire MZ make sure you try to get that prediction right don't try to just go for Fire MZ to um, just right off the bat because then you'll maybe Fire MZ into something you didn't want to Fire MZ to obviously camera and Flare Blitz but just like I was talking about with Arcanine uh, Talonflame is more of a support Pokemon with Tailwind, Taunt, and Will-O-Wisp. You want your support Pokemon to stay on the field as long as possible. This is a set that I also took from Jake the Battler, so shout out to him for uh, the set. But um, he was able to get 5th on Showdown with this, so definitely a proven Talonflame set. But yeah, uh, support Pokemon are meant to stay on the field for as long as possible, so you don't want to chunk your own health with Flare Blitz. It is an option though, so you can also consider that on Talonflame to deal with Cell Still even better. But uh, yeah, this one is going to be Fire MZ Overheat to just not chunk your own health so that Talonflame can stay on the field and taunt Tailwind and Will-O-Wisp as much as possible. So those are my best options for dealing with Cell Stella Magnezone at number one, Tapu Koko at number two, uh, Life Orb Tapu Koko, not any other Tapu Koko, Life Orb Tapu Koko, uh, Assault Vest Arcanine, Offensive Arcanine pretty much, doesn't have to be Assault Vest, but Offensive Arcanine. Uh, Aloha Marowak, Gudra, and then Talonflame. There's a few Pokemon that obviously you guys might have thought would be on this list that aren't on this list. First and foremost, I would say is, uh, the, what's his name? Really slow guy. Really slow guy. Torkoal. Uh, Torkoal is not on this list. And the reason I didn't put Torkoal on this list is because Torkoal is way too obvious of a solid answer for Celesta. It's so 
easily one of the slowest Pokemon in the whole format. It might be the slowest. So when Trickroom is set up, it, it's going to be first to go. And it has the very powerful stab um, fire type attacks in the sun because of its drought ability. So obviously Torkoal is going to be a very uh, quality cell still a killer. So that's one reason for just how obvious it is. That's one reason I didn't go with uh, Torkoal on this le uh, list. And then the second reason is because of the fact that cell still actually has a niche for stopping Torkoal. And it's the fact that a lot of people don't really run Flamethrower on their Torkoals. Some do run Fire Emblem Z, but a lot of people won't predict that you're going to have Wide Guard on your Cell Stilla because of the fact that it's a very uncommon move on Cell Stilla. And when I was running Wide Guard, I was able to deal with so many Torkoals well just because of the fact that they either weren't running Flamethrower or they just didn't see it coming and then I was able to get a powerful uh, attack into the Torkoal slot once I wide guarded when it went for eruption or a heat wave. I know that there's a lot more that are just running Fire MZ now to get around wide guard, but uh, obviously um, a lot of people still won't make that prediction and go for the Fire MZ over the eruption or heat wave with their Torkoal when they see a Cell Stilla. From my, from my uh, experiences, that's what I saw. So it does at least have a niche, and Cell Stilla really doesn't have any niche for dealing with these. Obviously its members can help it deal with um, deal with any of these Pokemon a lot better, but it really doesn't have its own niche for dealing with any of these Pokemon. Is none of them are using double targeting moves, other than like Tapu Koko with Discharge, but um, that's a lot less common. Um, most are just going for Volt Switch to get up out of there, especially if they're Life Orb. So, um, Celso doesn't really have a niche, so that's another reason why I didn't want to put it on here, considering it has a niche for stopping Torkoal, and it doesn't with these, and then also the fact that Torkoal's obviously a solid answer for Celso, like, just, it's just so obvious. Uh, Fire type moves boosted in the sun. Stab fire type moves boosted in the sun. That's obviously, it's obviously strong as a whole. That's another thing. So, uh, Torkoal just there's few things in the whole meta as a whole that can switch in or even wants to take that stab eruption and heat wave in the sun. So obviously a Pokemon weak to that definitely doesn't want to. Then um, uh, Togedemaru is another Pokemon that missed this list. The reason Togedemaru slightly missed it is just because there's a lot of flaws in to Togedemaru in my opinion. And the uh, offensive cell still said, I actually think deals with uh, Togedemaru pretty well, especially if you're running that life orb. You can just uh, take out Togedemaru with like a flamethrower and just deal with it pretty well. I've never really had trouble taking care of Togedemaru when I'm using cell still. It's never really felt like, oh, this uh, Togedemaru is overwhelming my soul still. Um, I felt that with a lot of these other Pokemon, but never really with Togedemaru. So that's another reason why Togedemaru slightly missed the list on a cell still counter. And then there's a few other Pokemon. Uh, Incineroar, obviously Incineroar is another fire type Pokemon. And its Flare Blitzes are going to do hefty damage to South Stella and likely take it out too. But the reason I didn't go Incineroar is because until Pokebank, maybe, I'm not 100% sure on this, but until Pokebank maybe gives it its uh, um, hidden ability and Intimidate, it's not as viable. And I want to go with the most viable Pokemon I could possibly choose. And uh, yeah, until um, Incineroar gets that. And once it gets Intimidate, definitely consider uh, in Cinnamon, it's going to be a huge, it's going to be uh, a much more viable Pokemon in the meta as a whole, so you'll see it a lot more. And then it'll definitely be a much better Pokemon for taking uh, taking care of Cell Stella, too. But until then, um, it just didn't seem like viable enough for it to have consideration on this list. And then, is there anything else I'm using? Salazzle, the same. Uh, Pokebank will give it fake out, so then it'll have a niche, more of a niche working for it and everything. Still, will need to really run Focus Sash and everything. Still won't be the best Pokemon, in my personal opinion, but it will actually have more of a niche going for it with fake out. And because uh, they'll have a really, really fast fake out, too. So, definitely a niche going for it. And its typing is really solid for a meta that has a lot of Pokemon weak to either fire or poison. Uh, but until it gets fake out, I. St um, just like um, Incineroar, I don't think um, Salazzle is that viable of a Pokemon, so that's also why I didn't make this list. And then I'm trying to think, is there any Pokemon that I am forgetting? Um, there's like a lot of electric... I can't think there's any... I don't think there's any more really viable electric types I'm forgetting. Oh, Drompa! I knew there was a Pokemon I was forgetting. Drompa, and also just like Gudra, gets Sap Sipper. And I really do like Sap Sipper for dealing with um, Leech Seed, uh, South Stella. But a lot of Drompas run Fire Blast over Flamethrower because they really need the damage output. Uh, considering that Drompa just doesn't really take special attacks that well, so you kind of want to do as much with your Drompa while you have Trick Room set up or whatever. Drompa is just so slow that I think if you're not running Trick Room, you're not running Drompa, right? But uh, yeah, it does get Sap Sipper just like uh, Gudra, so it's not the worst option for dealing with Cell Stilla, even though its other two abilities are much better in my opinion than Cloud9 or uh, Berkzirk or however you say that. Um, um, both of those abilities are better, so that's one thing I do think Cloud9 and its other ability are better than Sap Sipper on Drampa, and then two, 
Um, drop would just um, it's extremely trick room dependent and then it usually runs the a low accuracy fire type move Which isn't the best option for taking out cell still, but it is a decent answer to cell still It's definitely another Pokemon to consider then we have Salamence which has intimidate to lower uh, Cell still is heavy slams and then it has flamethrower to hit cell still decently hard also but I just thought that Salamence doesn't hit hard enough, especially if it's extremely bulky Cell still. I just don't think it hits hard enough. You'll still be able to start to chunk down its health with heavy slams. And then I just feel like uh, Salamence isn't like a over, it doesn't overwhelm Cell still. It definitely deals with it decently well, but it doesn't overwhelm it. And I feel like all these Pokemon kind of overwhelm Cell still to where Cell still usually switches out or at least protects every time they're on the field because of um uh because of how much they kind of overwhelm Salstilla and really pressure Salstilla while it's on the field but Salamence kind of deals with it but doesn't overwhelm it so that's another reason why that's the reason why Salstilla I mean uh, Salamence didn't make the list if there's any Pokemon I'm forgetting I do apologize but yeah those are the reason why those didn't make the list that's my list still yep Magnezone, Tapu Koko, Arcanine, Marowak, Gudra, and Tomflame thank you all so much for tuning in to this episode of Stop That Mon like I said if you did enjoy please do leave a like and maybe subscribe to the channel for more VGC content let me know the next Pokemon you want me to do as this was a Salstilla was request by someone in the comment section on the last video for Kartana someone specifically uh, requested Salstilla so I was like yeah yeah, I'll get right to it and now we here we are um, doing it on cell still so if you have a Pokemon in the format that you think is really really annoying to deal with really viable you've been having a little trouble doing with it definitely let me know in the comment section below and I'll try to provide you guys at least six six sets as always six different sets on no six different Pokemon with different sets on each that help deal with uh, cell still so uh, just thank you guys for watching and supporting the channel I'm gonna get the heck out of here I got work here in a little bit thank you so much for tuning in I'll see you in the next episode for now though peace out have a good one everyone